Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So I recently made myself this wrap dress using New Look 6581. I love a great wrap dress and I loved the pattern so much that I thought I'd do a sew along for you. Let's get started. All right guys, we're working with pattern 6581. This is a New Look pattern and we're going to be doing view A. So this is a fairly simple pattern which is one of the things I really loved about it. Um, it also fits really nicely and you can make it out of a bunch of different knit fabrics. Obviously the pattern is designed for stretch knits so you could use a ponte, a jersey, a sweater knit, um, really anything that you want. So I have a, a rib knit that I'm going to be using which I really love which is another option. On the back of the pattern envelope you always get a list of fabric suggestions and any notions that you're going to need to go along with this and of course your sizing. So let's go over the pattern pieces that you're going to need. So you're going to cut out pattern piece number four which is the front facing. You're cutting two of the fabric and then you're going to cut two of inner facing. You're going to cut two out of number three which is our ties. You're going to cut one of the back facing on the fold. You're also going to need to cut this out of inner facing. Then you're going to cut out pattern piece number one which is the front of our wrap dress. Pattern piece number two which is the back and pattern piece number six which is our sleeve. Now once you have everything cut and you have your facings interfaced we can start sewing. Alright guys you're going to go ahead and grab your front piece. You're going to place it over the back right sides are facing. We're going to pin at the shoulder. Once you have it pinned, I like to grab a piece of twill tape. You can also use ribbon if you have ribbon handy. And the reason I use the twill tape is to keep my shoulders from stretching, especially because we're using a stretch knit fabric. So once I have it in place, I put it within my seam allowance and you can just sort of repin to hold it in place. We're gonna stitch through all layers using 5 8 of an inch seam allowance. Okay, so I'm using 5 8 of an inch seam allowance. I have it so that my twill tape is sort of gonna be stitched right along that center. And I'm gonna back stitch at the beginning and at the end. Now this step is really important, especially when you're working with knit fabric and you want to stabilize your shoulder. So don't skip this step if you have ribbon or twill tape handy. Go ahead and do this to both your shoulders. Okay, once your shoulders are pressed, we're going to go ahead and grab our sleeve. So if you're following the instructions or if you've read through the instructions on the pattern, they have you sew up the sides um, and then insert your sleeve. But I like to lay my um, or do my knit sleeve using the flat method. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my sleeve and with right sides facing, I'm going to pin first at the shoulder. So I match my shoulder to that little dot that should have been on your um, pattern piece. So it's really important to transfer those dots. And then I'm going to go ahead and pin my double notch to my double notch on my back. And then you should have another dot that you marked along your cap. So I'm going to pin there and because it's a knit I'm just going to pull slightly wherever there is ease. And then you're going to do the same thing to the front. So align your single notch and your dot. If for whatever reason you're using a knit fabric that doesn't have a significant amount of stretch, maybe you're using a ponte and it doesn't have um, a lot of stretch in it and you need to ease sort of this little area in, if you can't quite pull it to ease it in, you can always take your scissors and along the side that does not have the ease, right? So on the dress, not on the sleeve, you can make a couple of snippets, about a quarter inch, and then that will help to ease the rest of your fabric in. Okay, once you have your sleeve pinned, we're gonna go ahead to the sewing machine and we're going to stitch using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Okay, using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance, we're going to back stitch at the beginning and at the end.
You're gonna pin and sew your other sleeve the same way. Once you're done sewing both of your sleeves, you can go ahead and either serge or zigzag your seam allowance. All right, once you have your uh, sleeves sewn in, we're gonna go ahead and with right sides facing, lay front to back, fold your sleeve. Now, I wanna point out that I have serged my entire side seams separately. Uh, because we're gonna leave a small opening here where your ties, tie goes in through your side. And so I don't wanna have to cut and then serge my seams separately or together. So that way I sort of just do it before and then I sew my seams together. So I just wanted to point that out in case you noticed. I know it might be hard to see because of the uh, fabric color and thread color. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pin my entire side seams. I'm gonna start by matching my underarm seam first. And then my sleeve. Now the opening is on my right side, right? I'm looking at the wrong side of my fabric, so the right side of mine. And I'm gonna go ahead and pin above and below that little opening. So you should have had little dots on your pattern. So I'm gonna put a pin there and then a pin below it to remind myself where to stop stitching cut my thread and then start up again, leaving this as an opening. Okay, I want you to go ahead and pin your other side seam and um, sleeve the same way. Now we're gonna go to the sewing machine and we're going to stitch using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Okay, we're gonna start on the side that has that little opening that we're leaving, okay? So I'm gonna backstitch um, at the beginning up until I get to that first pin where the opening begins and then I'm gonna backstitch there. Okay, I'm gonna backstitch and I'm gonna cut my threads. Move back down to the other pin and then continue sewing the rest of your side seam. Now your other side seam does not have an opening, so you can just sew the entire side seam in one continuous stitch. Okay, once you have your side seam sewn, go ahead and press your seams open. You'll notice that my garment is now right side out, so my opening is to the left of me. And you'll see when you press your seams open, you get a nice clean opening for your tie to go through. Now we're gonna go ahead and set this aside for just one second, we're gonna sew up our ties. So for this, you're just gonna fold your tie in half lengthwise, right sides facing. I want you to leave one end opened. You're going to stitch using 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance. And then on one end, you're going to go ahead and close out the short end. You're gonna do both of your ties the same way. Okay, go ahead and turn your ties right side out. Give them a press if you need to. Now we're gonna go ahead and stitch them down to our fronts. So obviously you'll notice that the front of your wrap dress has this sort of little corner here. So you're going to place your tie where those two dots were. Hopefully you marked your two dots. If not, go pull out your pattern piece and mark your dots where your ties are gonna go. You're gonna do them in the same place on both sides of your front. So I'm gonna pin there. and pin the other one to the other side. Now go to your machine and just go ahead and tack this down on both sides. Okay, now I want you to grab your facings. You should have interfaced both the front facings and the back facing. Now we're gonna go ahead and match up our facings at the shoulder. I'm gonna pin. And now go to your sewing machine and you're going to stitch across using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. If you have a serger, after stitching and pressing your seams open, go ahead and serge and finish the outside of your facing. Okay, once you have your ties stitched down to both fronts, we're gonna go ahead and pin our facing to our dress. So we have sewn our shoulders together from our facing. We pressed our seams open. And if you had a serger, you went ahead and surged around the edge. Now we're gonna place these right sides facing each other. I have the back of my garment facing me.
I'm going to pin at my shoulders along my center back. And you're going to go ahead and pin all the way down your front. Make sure that you catch your tie in between the layers. Okay, now you're going to pin your other front facing down the same way. Okay, once you have your entire facing pinned to your dress, we're going to start at the center back. Using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance, we're going to back stitch, stitch all the way down one front, then start back at the center back and work our way down the other side. All right, we're going to start at our center back. We're going to back stitch. We're using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. I'm going to back stitch at that little corner, pivot, back stitch again, and continue sewing all the way down. You're going to sew your other facing on the other side the same way. Okay, once you have your facings sewn down, we're going to go ahead and understitch. So turn your facing towards your seam allowance, and you're going to stitch close to the edge through all thicknesses, only on the side of your facing, okay? Now I'm about one sixteenth of an inch from my seam line. You're going to understitch the entire facing. Okay, so once you have your facing stitched down, understitched and pressed, we're going to go ahead and turn it towards our hem. Okay, so right sides are facing. Now the hem on this dress is one and a quarter inch. Try it on, see if you like the length, if you wanna shorten it, um, that's a personal preference. Whatever that's gonna be, make sure that you're using one and a quarter inch hem allowance. What we're gonna do now is while it's folded onto itself, right sides are facing, right? We're gonna go ahead and pin it in place, measure up one in, an inch and a quarter, and we're going to stitch across. All right, so I went ahead and stitched across at a, an inch and a quarter, and I went ahead and surged the entire hem allowance. Now I'm just gonna turn this to the right side so you can see we have a really nice clean finish and then you can press up the rest of your hem and you decide whether or not you want to stitch it using a regular machine stitch or if you wanna do a blind hem. It really just depends on the style of the dress um, and the fabric that you're using. So for me, I'm gonna go ahead and press up my hem allowance and I'm gonna use a machine stitch. But before we do that, I wanted to just do one last thing with you, and that's the facing. One of the really nice things that I like about this wrap dress is that it has the wide top stitching holding the facing in place. So what you're gonna do is, with your garment facing up so that you can make sure it's nice and flat, your facing should roll nicely to the inside because we did our understitching. So what I like to do is, I'm just gonna pin in place along my facing, that way when I top stitch on my right side, I can make sure that everything is laying nice and flat. So go ahead and just pin every couple of inches around your entire facing. Okay, so I went ahead and pinned my facing in place and I'm going to top stitch across my front, back, and then down the other front. All right, so I'm stitching three quarters of an inch from the edge of my, of my dress and I've gone to a 3.5 length stitch. Back stitch at the beginning and at the end. Pivot. And continue all the way through the back and down the other side. All right, once you've done your top stitching uh, along the front and the back, I went ahead and did my hem allowance. So I just turned up my hem allowance and then stitched on the right side. The only thing left for you to do once you do your hem is to do the hem of your sleeve and you are all done. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that sew along. If you're not following me already on Instagram, follow at Style. Until next time, peace.